everyone, my name is Dana. This is my dog Gunner, and today is his seventh birthday. Um, as you can see, just by here on his leg, he had surgery. I talked a little bit more about it on my Instagram stories. Basically, he had a lump on his leg. I had to get it removed, but because of that, his birthday celebrations are more of a lay low sort of thing. So this video will be kind of just like me showing you what he got for his birthday. Um, and it's mostly treats and some of them are like the nice quality ones and other ones are like more junk food ones. Um, normally the only treats he has are the ones I make, but recently with us being like in the process of moving very soon, he hasn't gotten a lot of treats and I feel bad about that. So birthday, um, but anyway, so. I also will have another video on Thursday and it'll be his birthday treat that I made and it'll be like a tutorial so you guys can make it as well if you are interested. Um, but for today it is just kind of like Gunner's birthday haul. So I'll start off with, they're called True Chews and they are chicken meatball recipe and I can literally count the amount of ingredients on all my fingers. Like there's literally under 10 ingredients. So, I am very excited about this because, like, I'm not I'm not worried like about any yucky in them. I was looking like I checked all the ingredients on all these to make sure they didn't have like onion or like the red forty in. And I will tell you, I was shocked by how many dog treats had like red forty or onion in them, even after like it's been proven that red forty is bad for dogs. And also, onion is literally poisonous, so I don't know why you'd add even, like, any of it. Because what if a dog gets into the treats and eats all the treats? Like, who knows if, like, that's enough onion to, like, kill a dog? <laughs> why risk it? Um, but anyway, this is a bunch of beef strips. They're beef esophagus. Um, he loves these. I got him some better ones. These aren't as good as the other ones and he actually had one of them today already but he has another one so you will be able to see but these are like literally his favorite so I got him a bunch. Um, I got him greenies. I've never given him greenies before so this will be interesting. Um, um, I'm, I'm excited. He has pretty nice teeth but I will say I think he chipped a tooth but he hasn't shown any signs of pain or anything. I do brush his teeth too, so I'm, I'm, I'm not too worried, and he loves chewing on toys and like things that are like also good to keep his teeth nice, and every year so far the vet said he has really nice teeth, but I wonder if like his next checkup will be the one where they're like, okay, he might need his teeth cleaned by a professional, which I wouldn't be surprised because he's been doing surprisingly well. But anyway, this is dried beef liver. I've never gotten this either. I just opened it up because I was curious. Like, but yeah, I haven't given him any yet because he had a lot of treats today. But that's what it looks like. And, like, it doesn't even smell bad. It smells kind of like a horse treat, honestly, which is kind of weird, but yeah. Anyways, so this is one of the treats that, in my opinion, are more McDonald's-like. But, you know, if he has them in moderation every now and then and just like one at a time, that should not affect him too much. And we all eat unhealthy once in a while, so I keep him very healthy. So I'm not too worried if he has a little something that's, you know, more junk food like. But same with these. I do like the chicken ones more than the pot roast ones, but he doesn't get a lot of treats. These chicken ones I have given him before. Um, but I just, you know, every now and then it's fine. And then next up is another one of the true chews. These are the bacon style. These have a little bit more ingredients than the meatball ones, but still, it's all, like, ingredients that, like, you know, like, salt, citrus pulp vegetable glycerin, ground rice, like pork, chicken, like it, it's it's good and like those there was like chicken and like potatoes in it like ooh, like these I, I'm, I'm not worried about these at all like these seem very trustworthy. 
And then this is one of the toys that I got him. He loves Nyla Bone, so every time it's like a birthday or a holiday, I'll go get him a Nyla Bone. And these help him keep his teeth so clean. Like the vets have even admitted it. Then I got him a dried duck foot. A tasty crunch for all types of chewers. So it's literally ingredients are duck foot. <laughs> I got him a uh, beef trachea with a beef esophagus and beef. It's called pizzle. You can hear it inside. That's the uh, esophagus and pizzle. But yeah, so it's a three in one. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. And I got him a pig ear. It's barbecued pig ear, so it's smoke flavor. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting, right, buddy? And then, last but not least, his favorite thing in the whole world, hickory smoked esophagus. The other ones are not hickory smoked, but this one is, and he loves it. It's his favorite thing in the whole wide world. And that is Gunder's birthday haul. So, happy birthday, Gunder. And even though you know, his birthday isn't the best birthday because he has to wear the cone of shame and he has stitches. He doesn't really care. He rolls with it. I thought he'd care so much more about the cone. No. He uses it to run into me and buckle my knees so I can walk faster because I walk too slow for him. But I'm trying to, you know, keep him chill, keep him calm. He's having none of that. He wants to run and jump and play. He doesn't even, it doesn't, it never even hurt him. He's doing so well. I like I'm trying my best to keep him calm though, obviously because of stitches, but he is in very high spirits, so that's all I can ask for. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. This week there will be obviously two videos in the week. I'm sorry I didn't post the shorts on Sunday, but obviously with his surgery I've been keeping a closer eye on him. But this coming Sunday there should be another shorts video. Um but yeah. I'm so glad you watched the video. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!